All right, here we go. I'm live. No edits, no nothing. So just to go over what we were doing earlier. Yesterday I posted a video, I had these voltages. I went ahead and called Fidal. We also checked uh, these yesterday too, but today I called American Rotary and then I also called um, Fidal. American Rotary said that we were all good, but I decided to play around with the capacitors. I unplugged one down here on the bottom. We, uh, we got new voltages, and those are right here. So we got now, compared to before, we had 263, 255, and 244. We now have 251, 243, and 254. So that comes out to 249. Imbalances are, are lower now. They're all still within, we're good. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Um, so then we got all that. And now I went on to setting up the, uh, the transformer. So we got here, these leads. We went and used this chart. Oh, the shadow is terrible. Uh, previously, our leads were at four and six, or the jumpers, and then the AC input we had at eight. So that, that of course, means we're, we're taking in 490. Well, I'm not running 490. I'm running, what am I running? I'm running 250. So going over here, 250, jumpers between two and five, Input on seven. So we come down here slowly. Inputs for each leg, seven, seven, seven. And then you see the jumpers here between two and five for each one. So now we're set up for 250. Uh, next up, we're gonna turn that switch on. So I, I try to start the, start this off first. It's quiet without the inverter going. Um, oh, one more thing is this guy, the surge suppressor. So I called Fidal. They actually don't support the older Fidals anymore. Uh, there's a company called uh, Fives or Fives. But if we go over here, they said that I had the wrong board, but... This is the board they wanted to sell me. But if you go to Fidal CNC, which is where I've been looking a lot lately, they have this board, the 250 volt surge suppressor, 1170 TAC2. You can see there's a bunch of big, big mobs on there. And then you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, you got 510, 510 volts. I don't know why it says 510 if it's running 250, but this is what they're selling. But if I go over here, I can come over here. I don't know if you can see it with the, the light. Oh. There, right there. You can see 510, and then you can't, you probably can't see the letters or the numbers, but it's 1170 TAC 2. So I'm going to go ahead and run with this one. Um, let's go ahead and start it up. We're running now. Are you, are you ready, Charlie? Here we go. All right, we didn't push the green button yet. I did cheat a little bit ago. I did already turn this on. I already had the fans going because the next step is you measure down here. Yeah, no magic smoke, so so far so good. So the next step was to measure between A12, B12, and C12. But all says that it should be between uh, 230 and 240 volt. And my measurements I got. 
are 240, 231, and 237. So we're good. The last step before we push this button is to go check the voltages. It's, I, actually, I don't remember if it's before or after, but actually we'll walk all the way around. So on the other side of the machine, we got the DC power supply. And we got, it, your, the next step is to, is to check the five volts, the 12 volts. Uh, I, got a, I got a notification. So it's to check the five volts and the 12 volts. And I don't know if they have other volts on there, but to check that. But looking at that power supply, it looks fairly new. So I'm gonna just say that that's good. And also because I, I ran it at the machine place that I bought it from. All right, so let's see what happens. We're gonna push, actually let's go make sure that the e-stop's on. All right, e stops pushed. We're all good here. Machine's still blocked up. Here we go. We're doing it. I pushed it. Let's see if this screen turns on. Now if I knew, oh, no. Let's see here. I didn't hear the... Ah, oh, I heard something. Something just clicked. We got power. Yes. All right. Let's go to the Z axis. Go to one thou. Let's see if this guy will, will move. No, nothing. Oh wait, manual mode maybe? No, jog mode. Let's see. I'm still trying to get acquainted with the With the controls. No. Feed rate. Spindle, no, no. Let's see. Why aren't I moving? It's going super slow. All right, here we go. Oh, that's why. I know why. All right, so it's moving on the screen, but I need to go back down. All right, so the reason why it's not moving is like a dummy. I forgot to take these guys out. Those are the counterweight rods, and now they're pretty tight. Or actually, they're kind of loose. All right, so let's see. Oh, I can't get to that side. Okay, so it's only on one side. Let's see if I can just pull them out. If not, then I'll have to uh, get an Allen and let's grab the light over here. See right there. Let's see if we can go down and make this thing. Let's see here. I heard something move. If that didn't work, I'll go the other way. No. 
All right. So we'll go down. Going down. Let's see. Still stuck. I feel like it's still stuck in there by some method. Let's see, I'm trying to look in between the machine panels. See anything back here? No. All right, so it looks like I gotta figure this one out. I'll end the live stream here so I can find out where the other, oh look, things are blinking. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we'll figure it out. So, thanks for watching. And I, I'm so happy that I got a green screen going on right now. That makes me happy. So things are moving. I just now need to figure out how to get the, the bars out that are in the back. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, I guess next time you guys will see this thing moving back and forth. We'll probably go with the, the cold start procedure where we got to line up these those markers down there on each of the axes. I'll probably do some cleanup, get this crap out of here. But uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.